Hello loves, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be a love reading. Let's see what's going on with the collective in love. Give me a message here. What's going on with the collective's love? Okay, we have... I feel safer hiding and watching you from a distance. You have someone who is keeping an eye on you. Who can't help but keep an eye on you. But I feel like this masculine feels safer. Oh, excuse me. Doing it at a distance. And you may not be aware of it. If you live close to this masculine, I feel like they may drive past. They may check on you. They may watch you. If this is on social media, they keep tabs on you one way or another. We have, I never felt a, a connection this intense. Yeah, I feel like this masculine has felt the connection from the very beginning. Even if they didn't speak on it. This masculine felt this spark. This intensity. I feel like it is like a lightning bolt just striking this masculine's heart. And the intensity of those feelings, the intensity of your connection has overwhelmed this masculine to the point that they feel safer watching you from a distance because the intensity is so strong. Okay, we've got two different cards. We have piercings and we have forgiveness. Could be either you or this masculine has some kind of piercings or several piercings. But I feel like this masculine knows that they need to ask for your forgiveness. I feel like this masculine feels very ashamed. Um, ashamed for their actions. Ashamed for not fully understanding your connection. And the cards are just steady dropping out. We have focus. My focus is on my career. I feel like this masculine is really trying to, do, to distract themselves. They're really trying to keep busy, you know, because I feel like you're heavy on this masculine's mind. <clears throat> this masculine, because the intensity of this connection, this masculine can't stop thinking about you. That's the reason why they're watching. That's the reason why they're watching from a distance. Because they can't stop thinking about you. It's like having a room in your house that you want to keep locked. But somehow the door keeps opening, you know? Like... There's nothing that they can do to walk away from the situation. And I feel like they may have tried. Yeah, I'm trying to understand the purpose of our connection. I feel like this masculine has tried to figure you out for a very long time. And, and your connection. But I feel like your connection and you are so mysterious to this masculine. This masculine finds you so intriguing. Everything about you. I feel like everything about you and your connection has been a mystery because this masculine is not understanding how you can totally invade his heart and just totally take up residence. This masculine is having a hard time trying to figure out <clears throat> where you came from right 
because I feel like this masculine has been totally under your spell not even having it occur to them that you're just being you you know you're just being your authentic self I feel everyone wants you and you will hurt me yeah this masculine may see that you get a lot of attention but this also this this is also saying that this masculine sees you in such a high regard that he feels like everyone would want you and that's because the attraction to you is so intense he can't resist the attraction with you the attraction with you is very very intense and i feel like this masculine feels like if they give in to this attraction that you're going to finish him off you're just going to devour him with your love and then walk away with someone better um and that totally scares the hell out of this masculine you know because he finds you as so attractive We will be together soon. This masculine cannot keep running from this connection for very much longer. I feel like they're slowly building up the courage. They're slowly trying to work things out in their head as far as where you belong in their life. Because I feel like this masculine is finally totally understanding that <laughs> they're not able to go on without you. And that's totally opened up this masculine's heart. Totally made them feel like a brand new person. And it's making them feel giddy and playful, right? It's making them feel young and youthful the connection with you is very vibrant i feel your energy all around me what did i say you portray this energy feminine that is so vibrant and so alluring and it's so attractive to this masculine they they feel your energy all around them you know it totally envelops their soul at a soul level and it, it's a feeling of tranquility when it comes to this masculine and he's become addicted to your energy and I feel like recently you may have pulled that energy away and this masculine has felt that. He's felt it very deeply that he can't feel your energy. I've lied to you about being single. Oh, well. I feel like this masculine, like I said, I feel like this masculine has tried to distract themselves with other things. If they have distracted themselves with another connection, then that's exactly what it is. And maybe they've, they're trying to portray themselves as being single. But I feel like you can see right through this masculine. I feel like they can't really hide too much from you because you can kind of see who this masculine really is and what they're all about. We have slow down. Yeah, this masculine really wants to take things slow with you. They really want to pursue you in the right way. And I, I feel like they want to do that slowly. 
so that they can get to know you on a level that they feel comfortable with. Because I feel like because the intensity of your connection, I feel like this masculine really has a need to go very slow. And I feel like this masculine has, up to this point, moved like a turtle. They have been slow to make decisions, slow to talk, slow, slow to do just about everything. This masculine runs at their own pace. And currently their own pace is at slow motion, right? Um, and sometimes it feels like this masculine is in a state of not just slow motion, but I feel like sometimes this masculine feels like they're in a state of a total standstill. Like they're not moving at all. We have so alone. Yeah, this masculine has felt your absence. They have definitely felt the, your absence. And they don't like it. They feel very alone, very secluded. And I, I feel like because of the intensity of your connection, I feel like that's leaving this masculine feeling very insecure on where they stand in your life. I feel like they be, they feel very insecure that someone else is going to step in and take their place. And that's the last thing that they want. Let's take a look at the tarot and see what more we have from this masculine. Give me a message, spirit. Give me a message from this masculine's heart space. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. Okay. If this masculine is overflowing with emotions, they're overflowing with love. And I feel like this masculine is so close to giving you this cup. But they, I feel like they're holding themselves back. Look at this. The Two of Cups. This masculine has love overflowing for you. And it's not going to be too much longer. This masculine can't hold back too much longer. Judgment. Yeah. Whatever's been wrong, they want to make right. And I feel like this masculine has made a lot of wrong moves in the past. And they know it. They know they have made a lot of mistakes with your connection. And I feel like they are... Not able to run from their emotions too much longer. So, their emotions are starting to overburden them. Right? And they want to... Oh, wow. They want to be happy again. And they know that you are their happiness. They know that you are their fulfillment. I feel like this... This masculine is coming to this new perspective. You know, I, I feel like this masculine is being enlightened when it comes to this situation. Um, the sun can also indicate like a spiritual awakening and uh, paired with the judgment card. You know, those are two major arcanas in the tarot and this is something that is kind of beyond the masculine's control I feel like the judgment and the sun together really signifies a spiritual awakening within this masculine to where they're becoming more aware of their spiritual side and that may be because of you, but there's changes. This is a lot of love on this table, you know, when it comes to this masculine. And I feel like there's no way that they can hold it back. We have the five of wands at the bottom. 
not the five of wands this is the seven of wands this is the seven of wands yeah this masculine feels very defensive when it comes to you they're, they're holding back <laughs> and I feel like they're holding back intentionally but they're not going to be able to hold on to this for too much longer because it's starting to feel very overwhelming and they know that you're the one right and they don't want to settle for anything less they're tired of settling this masculine is tired of settling for second best we have the queen of wands and we also have the seven of pentacles so yeah i feel like <clears throat> this masculine there's a feminine energy that is also being a distraction when it comes to this masculine i feel like they are seven of pentacles queen of wands they are really trying to distract this masculine from moving forward in their life this may be a connection that they're currently in. This may be a marriage that they're currently in. Maybe there's children involved. Um, but I feel like this masculine really is really being held back from this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands energy is really, you know, <sighs> distracting them in a way. It could be with sexual energy. I'm not going to lie but there's a lot of distraction here when it comes to the masculine oh we're not going to leave it there let's get one more give me some advice for the collective is this you trying to distract this masculine oh no i think this is you queen of swords I feel like, collective, I feel like you're coming in here with your truth. You're going to drop that sword and just have at it. You're not, you're going to put your foot down when it comes to certain situations. And I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're coming in with such a truth. Mm, you let this masculine know that this that your energy was a missed opportunity. You've let this masculine know that they've missed out on an opportunity with you. And I feel like that has definitely created a tower moment in this masculine. This masculine, yeah, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is this has really put some stress on this masculine. We have the four of wands under that. This masculine is feeling the feeling the burden and the stress of losing you. And they just want to be happy again. We have the nine of cups underneath that. Oh my god. And the knight of pentacles. Okay, this this masculine is, is currently working. It's up to you if you want to see where this goes or not. But this masculine is currently working. I feel like you really set it in stone. You really dropped your sword and let this masculine know that, you know, you didn't miss out on them. They missed out on you, right? And that really put this masculine in a tower moment. They're really feeling the loss. And they're feeling a lot of love, too. And really going through their emotions. Really feeling it so deeply. That I feel like you may have shifted this masculine into a dark night of the soul. You know, to where they really have to look deeply within themselves. 
very interesting. But this is what I have for you. If this resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. And I will see you on the next one. Many blessings to you. Love and light.